Hello beautiful people welcome to show love celebrity news and updates where we bring you the right updates. If you are new here or if at all you are just passing by for the first time please take some minutes of your time to subscribe and hit the notification button so that you will not miss any of my uploads. Belarusian tennis star Rarina Sabalenka have reclaimed the top spot in the women's world rankings on Monday, after beating Poland's Egas Fiantek, who had led the way since November. Erin Sabalenka first led the WTA rankings for eight weeks from September to October 2023 before being dethroned by Sviantek who is now second in front of American Coco Gauff. The Belarusian tennis player moved up to first place by just 41 points from the first team. Following this news, Erin Sabalenka left a message on her social media handle, welcoming her new world ranking. She wrote a striking message on her Twitter account, number one, let's see for how long this time. The Belarusian tennis player who won the Australian Open and the US Open this year, returned to the top of the rankings because last week she lost only 10 points, which Sviantek did not participate in either, so she had to, accept the defeat. 120 units for her part. Russian Daria Kasatkina entered the top 10 again for the first time since July 2023, since appearing at number 9 thanks to her victory in the WTA 500 tournament held in the Chinese city of Ningbo. Erin Sabalenka decided to skip the Asian tour to focus on finding a new coach and settled for a narrow margin of 41 points, 9,706 and 9,665, so the battle for the world number one position will continue until the final. If there is anything Erina Sabalenka has not done, it will not go unnoticed. With her strong personality and powerful influence, the Belarusian tennis player cannot hide her weaknesses. She was stunned, and cried uncontrollably on the court after committing multiple double faults in her 21st match at the Adelaide 2022 Games. Amid, the war between Russia and Ukraine she faced criticism for her association with Ukraine. Alexander Lukashenko, the president of Belarus, who has expressed support for Vladimir Putin, is also at the center of controversy over the size of the birthday cake received at the tournament in Madrid. Local player Carlos Alcaraz received a much larger prize. What's more, she's pure power on the world's bars. Erina Sabalenka was born in 1998, the year of the tiger according to the Chinese zodiac, a symbol of strength, protection and courage. This coincidence caught her attention, so she tattooed the animal on her arm. I think I was 18 and my parents didn't know about this tattoo. And when they saw it the first time my dad laughed, I don't know why, but my mum didn't talk to me for a week. And, then she said, I hope it's the first and the last, and I said yes, mum it's the first and the last, and then I turned around and said, hopefully. But she didn't hear that. I feel like sometimes on the court I need to remember the tigers and fight until the end. Having it on my arm I make sure I can see it all the time and be on fire, she once revealed, defiantly, with the same attitude that takes, her to the top. In contrast in the ATP rankings, Spaniard Carlos Alcaraz is second behind Italian Yannick Sinner who have already secured the spot until the end of the year. Spaniard Roberto Bautistuagat also returned to the top 50 after winning the title on the Belgian indoor track in Antwerp. Thank you for watching to the end, if you have something to tell us about this video leave your comment, on the comment section below. Your comments matters a lot. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video and share. See you next.